Tempers Hill coming at you with another video. Today is another day, another blessing, and another opportunity to get things right. So getting right into today's video, let's talk about blocks and love. There is a thin line between freeform locks and love. And locks in general, natural hair in general, self-care in general, and just recognizing how we take care of ourselves, how we see ourselves, and how we carry ourselves. So when I say there's a thin line between locks and love, love for yourself and having the extreme confidence to embrace a style like this that others may see as unkept and lack of love and being able to love yourself and own that in any situation. So locks and love is not something that I've always had. I feel like my hair has been a challenge since I can remember having hair. I was actually born bald-headed and by the time I was five, everyone around me had more hair than me. I had these two uh, pom-poms and I remember my sister and my cousin used to tease me. And they were kids, you know, no, uh, no hate or anything. Kids say the darndest things. We all know that kids can be forgiven as well as people that may not know <laughs> any better. So anyways, uh, they were the first people to, I guess, make me feel a little insecure about my hair and then growing into a preteen I was very aware of my hair I was very aware that my hair was different from those I went to school with and those that I was around a lot of time based on where I lived I moved around a lot as a kid and I was usually the minority throughout my school experience so I had in my mind that I wanted to have long straight hair. I would always wear my hair in box braids and I love that style. I would have a, a fake hair um, braided into it and the ends would be burned and that style would last for like eight whole weeks. I remember when it got to the point where they'd start falling out. And I had a pretty uh, traumatic experience as a kid when one of my box braids fell out at a pool party and one of the other kids picked it up and was like, ew, what is this? And you know, everyone recognized it as one of my box braids. So from that moment on, I can remember asking my mom if I could get a perm and I know I told some of this story before, um, initially it wasn't uh, okay at the time, I was probably 11, maybe 12 years old and she decided to have me wait until I was a teenager, so at 13 I got one of those uh, kitty perms, I think it was like just for me or something, they had a jingle to go with it and it showed like this straight hair that was so beautiful to me at the time and what I wanted, what I was used to seeing on TV and what I was used to seeing my peers having. So I never really embraced my natural hair so much as a kid. Not until years later, you know, after school, after going through the stage of keeping my hair relaxed and permed and curled and just probably in the worst condition that it could have possibly been. I didn't know how to take care of my hair in a way that would allow it to flourish. I just cared about the overall appearance of it being straight and you know the edges being very tamed. So that was my whole aesthetic. So as a result my hair never grew past my shoulders. And I finally got to a point where I was done getting a relaxer, I was done sitting through 
the experience of having my hair straightened and I decided to just let the perm grow out. And eventually when my hair got to a certain length, I asked my dad who cuts his own hair if he could cut my hair. And he cut it in just like this weird shape. It was pretty thin on the sides, mostly as a result of my thinning edges and then I had more on top. So it was shaped pretty awkwardly, but it worked and I grew into it. And from that stage, I almost went straight into starter locks and that was within probably the first six months of having my perm cut out or having what was left of my perm cut out and that's when I decided to do locks. I have a, another video that goes more into depth about what inspired my lock journey but not until that moment, not until I started my lock journey, did I start to really have that self-love that was missing. Did I really start to love my hair? Did I really start to be comfortable in the body that I was in? So that didn't happen until early adult years and even to this day, there's still work to be done. But I've come a long way and I really do feel like my freeform locks has given me a different level of confidence that I didn't have before when it comes to my hair, when it comes to how I carry myself, and when it comes to just my body and all of the features as is. I spent so much time as a teenager trying to change or hide or be ashamed of different aspects about myself and through growing my freeform locks I've learned to love myself. So that is my story of the day. That is the best correlation that I can give as far as locks and love. I would love to hear some of you all stories if you've ever reached that point if you've ever had insecurities about your hair or your appearance and what you did to overcome that uh, if it was growing locks also or if it was another life-changing matter that helped you to come to that conclusion and Aside from that, I still am working on a video to answer your questions. If you have any other questions that you want to add to the list, uh, go ahead and leave that in the comment. And otherwise, I thank you all for tuning in once again. And until next time, peace. Hey yo, hey yo, you know I like to flow, so here I go. It's been some time since I dropped a rhyme, but I left y'all hanging. I got my dreads here swinging, and I'm back now, so don't wonder how, but here I am. I come through no tam. I leave my hair out, let it flow at night. That's the way it is, yo. Let me slow this beat down so my words is more profound, and you already know that I've just been around. I've been here for a minute and you know what's within it. You know what I'm saying. Steadily praying for my friends and family because the reality is ugly. But I try to make the best through every test, every lesson learned, all of this knowledge earned. I keep the words going. You can see I'm still flowing. But I'm simmering down because I'm about to lay down. It's been a long night and the sky is so bright. And there's positivity that I want to bring to you, you, and me.